أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أليف لام رو These are the ayat of the book of wisdom Is it a matter of wonderment to men that we have sent our inspiration to a man from among themselves that he should warn mankind of their danger and give the good news to the believers that they have before their Lord the lofty rank of truth But say the unbelievers, this is indeed an evident sorcerer. Verily your Lord is Allah who created the heavens and the earth in six days. Then he established himself on the throne of authority, regulating and governing all things. No intercessor can plead with him, except after his leave has been obtained. This is Allah your Lord, him therefore serve you. Will you not then be of the warned? To him will be your return of all of you. The promise of Allah is true and sure. It is he who begins the process of creation and repeats it, that he may reward with justice those who believe and work righteousness. But those who reject him will have drafts of boiling fluids and a penalty grievous because they did reject him. It is he who made the sun to be a shining glory and the moon to be a light of beauty and measured out stages for it that you might know the number of years and the count of time. No wise did Allah create this but in truth and righteousness. Thus does he explain his signs in detail for those who understand. Verily in the alternation of the night and the day and in all that Allah has created, In the heavens and the earth are signs for those who fear him. Those who rest not their hope on their meeting with us, but are pleased and satisfied with the life of the present, and those who heed not our signs. Their abode is the fire because of the evil they earned. Those who believe and work righteousness, their Lord will guide them because of their faith. Beneath them will flow rivers in gardens of bliss. This will be their prayer therein. Glory to you, O Allah, and peace will be their greeting therein. And the close of their prayer will be, Praise be to Allah, the cherisher and sustainer of the worlds. If Allah were to hasten for men the ill they have earned, as they would fain hasten on the good, then would their respite be settled at once. But we leave those who rest not their hope on their meeting with us, in their trespasses, wandering in distraction to and fro. When trouble touches a man, he cries unto us in all postures, lying down on his side or sitting or standing. But when we have solved his trouble, he passes on his way as if he has never cried to us, for a trouble that touched him. Thus do the deeds of transgressors seem fair in their eyes. Generations before you we destroyed when they did wrong. Their messengers came to them with clear signs, but they would not believe. Thus do we requite those who sin. Then we made you heirs in the land after them, to see how you would behave. But when our clear signs are rehearsed unto them, those who rest not their hope on their meeting with us, say, bring us a reading, other than this, or change this. Say, it is not for me of my own accord to change it. I follow naught but what is revealed unto me. If I were to disobey my Lord, I should myself fear the penalty of a great day to come. Say, if Allah had so willed, I should not have rehearsed it to you, or would he have made it known to you. A whole lifetime before this have I tarried amongst you. Will you not then understand? Who does more wrong than such as forge a lie against Allah or deny his signs? But never will prosper those who sin. They serve, besides Allah, things that hurt them not nor profit them. And they say, these are our intercessors with Allah. Say, do you indeed inform Allah of something he knows not in the heavens or on earth? Glory to him. And far is he above the partners they ascribe to him. Mankind was but one nation, but differed later. Had it not been for a word that went forth before from your Lord, their differences would have been settled between them.
They say, Why is not a sign sent down to him from his Lord? Say, The unseen is only for Allah to know. Then wait you. I too will wait with you. When we make mankind taste of some mercy after adversity has touched them, behold, they take to plotting against our signs. Say, Swifter to plan is Allah. Verily our messengers record all the plots that you make. He it is who enables you to traverse through land and sea, so that you even board ships. They sail with them with a favorable wind, and they rejoice thereat. Then comes a stormy wind, and the waves come to them from all sides, and they think they are being overwhelmed. They cry unto Allah, sincerely offering their duty unto Him, saying, If you do deliver us from this, we shall truly show our gratitude. But when he delivers them, behold, they transgress insolently through the earth in defiance of right. O mankind, your insolence is against your own souls, an enjoyment of the life of the present. In the end to us is your return, and we shall show you the truth of all that you did. The likeness of the life of the present is as the rain which we send down from the skies. By its mingling arises the produce of the earth which provides food for men and animals. It grows till the earth is clad with its golden ornaments and is decked out in beauty. The people to whom it belongs think they have all powers of disposal over it. There reaches it our command by night or by day, and we make it like a harvest clean mown, as if it had not flourished only the day before. Thus do we explain the signs in detail for those who reflect. But Allah does call to the home of peace. He does guide whom he pleases to a way that is straight. To those who do right is a goodly reward. Yea, more than in measure. No darkness nor shame shall cover their faces. They are companions of the garden. They will abide therein for a. But those who have earned evil will have a reward of like evil. Ignominy will cover their faces. No defender will they have from the wrath of Allah. Their faces will be covered, as it were, with pieces from the depth of the darkness of night. They are companions of the fire. They will abide therein for a. One day shall we gather them all together. Then shall we say to those who join gods with us, To your place, you and those you joined as partners, we shall separate them, and their partners shall say, It was not us that you worshipped. Enough is Allah for a witness between us and you. We certainly knew nothing of your worship of us. There will every soul prove the fruits of the deeds it sent before. They will be brought back to Allah, their rightful Lord, and their invented falsehoods will leave them in the lurch. Say, who is it that sustains you in life from the sky and from the earth? Or who is it that has power over hearing and sight? And who is it that brings out the living from the dead and the dead from the living? And who is it that rules and regulates all affairs? They will soon say, Allah. Say, will you not then show piety to him? Such is Allah, your real cherisher and sustainer. Apart from truth, what remains but error? How then are you turned away? Thus is the word of your Lord proved true. Against those who rebel, verily, they will not believe. Say, of your partners, can any originate creation and repeat it? Say, it is Allah who originates creation and repeats it. Then how are you deluded away from the truth? Say, of your partners, is there any that can give any guidance towards truth? Say, it is Allah who gives guidance towards truth. Is then he who gives guidance to truth more worthy to be followed? Or he who finds not guidance himself unless he is guided? What then is the matter with you? How judge you? But most of them follow nothing but fancy. Truly fancy can be of no avail against truth. Verily Allah is well aware of all that they do. This Qur'an is not such as can be produced by other than Allah. On the contrary, it is a confirmation of revelations that went before it and a fuller explanation of the book wherein there is no doubt from the Lord of the worlds. Or do they say, he forged it? 
Say, Bring then a surah like unto it, and call to your aid anyone you can besides Allah, if it be you speak the truth. Nay, they charge with falsehood that whose knowledge they cannot compass, even before the elucidation thereof has reached them. Thus did those before them make charges of falsehood. But see what was the end of those who did wrong. Of them there are some who believe therein, and some who do not. And your Lord knows best those who are out for mischief. If they charge you with falsehood, say, My work to me and yours to you. You are free from responsibility for what I do, and I for what you do. Among them are some who pretend to listen to you, but can you make the deaf to hear, even though they are without understanding? And among them are some who look at you, but can you guide the blind even though they will not see? Verily Allah will not deal unjustly with man in aught. It is man that wrongs his own soul. One day he will gather them together. It will be as if they had tarried but an hour of a day. They will recognize each other. Assuredly those will be lost who denied the meeting with Allah and refused to receive true guidance. Whether we show you realized in your lifetime some part of what we promise them, or we take your soul to our mercy before that. In any case, to us is their return. Ultimately Allah is witness to all that they do. To every people was sent a messenger. When their messenger comes before them, the matter will be judged between them with justice, and they will not be wronged. They say, When will this promise come to pass, if you speak the truth? Say, I have no power over any harm or profit to myself except as Allah wills. To every people is a term appointed. When their term is reached, not an hour can they cause delay, nor an hour can they advance it in anticipation. Say, do you see if his punishment should come to you by night or by day? What portion of it would the sinners wish to hasten? Would you then believe in it at last, when it actually comes to pass? It will then be said, Ah, now, and you wanted aforetime to hasten it on. At length will be said to the wrongdoers, Taste you the enduring punishment. You get but the recompense of what you earned. They seek to be informed by you. Is that true? Say, Eh, by my Lord, it is the very truth, and you cannot frustrate it. Every soul that has sinned, if it possessed all that is on earth, would fain give it in ransom, they would declare their repentance when they see the penalty. But the judgment between them will be with justice, and no wrong will be done unto them. Is it not the case that to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and on earth? Is it not the case that Allah's promise is assuredly true, yet most of them understand not? It is He who gives life and who takes it, and to Him shall you all be brought back. O mankind, there has come to you a direction from your Lord, and a healing for the diseases in your hearts, and for those who believe a guidance and a mercy. Say, in the bounty of Allah and in His mercy, in that let them rejoice, that is better than the wealth they hoard. Say, see you what things Allah has sent down to you for sustenance, yet you hold forbidden some things thereof, and some things lawful. Say, has Allah indeed permitted you, or do you invent things to attribute to Allah? And what think those who invent lies against Allah of the Day of Judgment? Verily, Allah is full of bounty to mankind, but most of them are ungrateful. In whatever business you may be, and whatever portion you may be reciting from the Quran, and whatever deed you mankind may be doing, we are witnesses thereof when you are deeply engrossed therein. Nor is hidden from your Lord so much as the weight of an atom on the earth or in heaven, and not the least and not the greatest of these things, but are recorded in a clear record. Behold, verily on the friends of Allah there is no fear, nor shall they grieve. Those who believe and constantly guard against evil, for them are glad tidings in the life of the present and in the hereafter. No change can there be in the words of Allah. This is indeed the supreme felicity. 
Let not their speech grieve you, for all power and honor belong to Allah. It is he who hears and knows all things. Behold, verily to Allah belong all creatures in the heavens and on earth. What do they follow who worship as his partners other than Allah? They follow nothing but fancy, and they do nothing but lie. He it is that has made you the night that you may rest therein, and the day to make things visible to you. Verily in this are signs for those who listen to his message. They say Allah has begotten a son. Glory be to him. He is self-sufficient. His are all things in the heavens and on earth. No warrant have you for this. Say you about Allah what you know not. Say those who invent a lie against Allah will never prosper. A little enjoyment in this world and then to us will be their return. Then shall we make them taste the severest penalty for their blasphemies. Relate to them the story of Noah. Behold, he said to his people, O my people, if it be hard on your mind that I should stay with you and commemorate the signs of Allah, yet I put my trust in Allah. Get you then an agreement about your plan, and among your partners, so your plan be not to you dark and dubious. Then pass your sentence on me, and give me no respite. But, if you turn back, consider no reward have I asked of you. My reward is only due from Allah, and I have been commanded to be of those who submit to Allah's will in Islam. They rejected him, but we delivered him, and those with him in the ark. And we made them inherit the earth, while we overwhelmed in the flood those who rejected our signs. Then see what was the end of those who were warned, but he did not. Then after him we sent many messengers to their peoples. They brought them clear signs, but they would not believe what they had already rejected beforehand. Thus do we seal the hearts of the transgressors. Then after them sent we Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh and these chiefs with our signs. But they were arrogant. They were a people in sin. When the truth did come to them from us, they said, This is indeed evident sorcery. Said Moses, Say you this about the truth when it has actually reached you? Is sorcery like this? But sorcerers will not prosper. They said, Have you come to us to turn us away from the ways we found our fathers following? in order that you and your brother may have greatness in the land, but not we shall believe in you. Said Pharaoh, Bring me every sorcerer well versed. When the sorcerers came, Moses said to them, Throw you what you wish to throw. When they had their throw, Moses said, What you have brought us is sorcery. Allah will surely make it of no effect, for Allah prospers not the work of those who make mischief. And Allah by his words does prove and establish his truth, however much the sinners may hate it. But none believed in Moses except some children of his people, because of the fear of Pharaoh and his notables, lest they should persecute them. And certainly Pharaoh was tyrant on the earth and one who transgressed all bounds. Moses said, O my people, if you do really believe in Allah, then in him put your trust if you submit your will to his. They said, In Allah do we put our trust. Our Lord, make us not a trial for those who practice oppression. And deliver us by your mercy from those who reject you. We inspired Moses and his brother with this message. Provide dwellings for your people in Egypt. Make your dwellings into places of worship. And establish regular prayers. And give glad tidings to those who believe. Moses prayed, our Lord, you have indeed bestowed on Pharaoh and his chiefs splendor and wealth in the life of the present. And so, our Lord, they must lead men from your path, deface, our Lord, the features of their wealth, and send hardness to their hearts, so they will not believe until they see the grievous penalty. Allah said, Accepted is your prayer, O Moses and Aaron, so stand you straight and follow not the path of those who know not. We took the children of Israel across the sea. Pharaoh and his hosts followed them in insolence and spite. At length, when overwhelmed with the flood, he said, 
I believe that there is no God except him whom the children of Israel believe in. I am of those who submit to Allah in Islam. It was said to him, Ah, now, but a little while before, were you not in rebellion? And you did mischief and violence. This day shall we save you in your body, that you may be assigned to those who come after you. But verily, many among mankind are heedless of our signs. We settled the children of Israel in a beautiful dwelling place, and provided for them sustenance of the best. It was after knowledge had been granted to them, that they fell into schisms. Verily, Allah will judge between them as to the schisms among them on the day of judgment. If you were in doubt as to what we have revealed unto you, then ask those who have been reading the book from before you. The truth has indeed come to you from your Lord, so be in no wise of those in doubt. Nor be those who reject the signs of Allah, or you shall be of those who perish. Those against whom the word of your Lord has been verified would not believe. Even if every sign was brought unto them, until they see for themselves the grievous penalty. Why was there not a single township among those we warned, which believed, so its faith should have profited it, except the people of Jonah? When they believed, we removed from them the penalty of ignominy in the life of the present, and permitted them to enjoy their life for a while. If it had been the Lord's will, they would all have believed, all who are on earth. Will you then compel mankind against their will to believe? No soul can believe except by the will of Allah, and He will place doubt or obscurity on those who will not understand. Say, Behold all that is in the heavens and on earth, but neither signs nor warners profit those who believe not. Do they then expect anything but what happened in the days of the men who passed away before them? Say, Wait you then, for I too will wait with you. In the end we deliver our messengers and those who believe. Thus is it fitting on our part that we should deliver those who believe. Say, O you men, if you are in doubt as to my religion, behold, I worship not what you worship other than Allah, but I worship Allah, who will take your souls at death. I am commanded to be in the ranks of the believers. And further thus, Set your face towards religion with true piety, and never in any wise be of the unbelievers. Nor call on any other than Allah. Such will neither profit you nor hurt you. If you do, behold, you shall certainly be of those who do wrong. If Allah does touch you with hurt, there is none can remove it but He. If He does design some benefit for you, there is none can keep back His favor. He causes it to reach whomsoever of his servants he pleases, and he is the oft-forgiving, most merciful. Say, O you men, now truth has reached you from your Lord. Those who receive guidance do so for the good of their own souls. Those who stray do so to their own loss. And I am not set over you to arrange your affairs. Follow you the inspiration sent unto you, and be patient and constant till Allah does decide, for He is the best to decide.